Hi, my name's Rhiannon and I'm employed at Mitsubishi Motors at Tonsley Park in Adelaide, Australia as a tour guide. My job is to show how Mitsubishi cars are made and to explain how Mitsubishi Motors Australia fits within a worldwide manufacturing network. Why don't you come along with me today? At the Mitsubishi car plant, the Magna range of cars is manufactured. Around 250 Magnas, both sedans and station wagons, are built here every day. These cars are sold in Australia and throughout the world, including Japan, the United States and Europe. Car manufacturing is a very complicated process. There are over 5,000 parts that go together to make each Magna. And many thousands of people are involved in the making, supplying and assembling of these parts. Many of the Magna components are made here at the car plant. Other parts are made elsewhere by other companies and transported here for assembly. Many parts of motor cars are made from steel. Here are the beginnings of the Magna cars. First, the steel is cut into sheets called blanks. These steel blanks are fed into large machines called presses. Heavy presses form the large parts for the car. The scrap offcuts of steel are fed into bins to be melted down for recycling. Light presses form the smaller parts. The panels and other steel components are delivered to the body build line, the first section of the car plant's assembly line. The assembly line is the manufacturing heart of the car plant. The assembly line is a continuously moving system of conveyors that carry the cars through the car plant as they are assembled. On the body build line, the process of assembling each car begins. The assembly line is divided into sections and each section is divided into workstations. Piece by piece, each Magna sedan or wagon body takes shape as they move from workstation to workstation. At every step of manufacture, the cars are checked to ensure that all cars are made to the highest quality standard, and quality is very important. Every car builder at the plant is responsible for the work they do, with the understanding that their job is important to the overall work team concept. 
This system of quality control is known as self-declaration. The car bodies are now ready for the painting process. The paint will protect the metal surfaces and also provide an attractive high gloss colour finish. There are three main stages in the painting process. Pre-paint, undercoat and top coat. In the pre-paint area, the car bodies are prepared for painting. The bodies are washed and rinsed to remove all traces of oil, dust and dirt. To apply the undercoat, the bodies are electrically charged and dipped in large tanks which contain special corrosion resistant paint. The paint is attracted to the electrically charged bodywork in a similar way to iron particles being attracted to a magnet. In this way, the entire body is covered by the corrosion resistant paint inside and out. This process is called electro coating. As well as protecting the body from corrosion, this coating provides an ideal surface on which to apply the coloured top coat. The car bodies then move into a drying oven where the paint is baked onto the metal bodywork. The bodies are again cleaned before top coats of colour paint are applied in the paint shop. To ensure a complete and quality coating of colour paint, a combination of operator and machine applications are used on each car body. Computers control the spray painting machines and the selection of the colours the cars will be painted. Again, the car bodies move into a drying oven where the colour top coats are baked hard to provide a long-lasting, high-gloss finish. This overhead conveyor brings the Magna car bodies to the next section of the assembly line, the trim line. A traveller card is attached to each car. This tells the operators whether the car is to be built as a left or right hand drive and includes details such as trim colour, engine size and type of wheels and tyres. As the cars move through the workstations on the trim line, various components are added. Wiring, lights, sound insulation, foot pedals and door fittings are added in sequence. The headlining which has been made in another section of the car plant, is also fitted. The dashboard, containing the speedometer and other gauges, is fitted by two car builders. Robots are also used on this line. At this stage, the magnets are hoisted off the trim line to enable operators to fit the fuel tank, fuel lines and other parts to the underside of each car. In this part of the plant, four and six cylinder engines are prepared. The engines, which have been made at Mitsubishi's Lonsdale engine plant, are then matched onto gearboxes before the combined units are conveyed onto the chassis line. Here on the chassis line, the engines and gearboxes, along with the suspension components and exhaust system, await a car body. And here comes one now. This operation is known as a body drop. Can you guess why? It looks easy, but the operation requires a high degree of skill and teamwork. Once the wheels have been fitted, and petrol has been added, the cars are driven off the assembly line under their own power. 
precise adjustments are made to ensure that every magna not only works properly, but is safe as well. Safety also plays an important role inside the Mitsubishi car park. As the cars are tested on the roller machine, this floor level flap opens to remove exhaust gas from inside the car. As the magnet is a front wheel drive car, only the front wheels sit on the roller machine. To check for water and dust leaks, the cars enter the water test boot. Powerful jets of water are sprayed over the entire car. Each car is thoroughly checked to make sure that no water can enter. And if water can't enter, neither can dust. The cars now enter the final stages of production. On the final line, carpet is fitted throughout the cars. The seats are installed and matching trim is attached to the doors. Before the cars leave the plant, further quality control checks are carried out. After final adjustments, the cars are now ready for signing off and delivery to customers throughout Australia and overseas. So that's how the Magna is made. As you've seen, car manufacturing is a very complicated process involving many components, many suppliers, but most importantly, many people. The car makers here at Mitsubishi are very proud of the cars they build, and rightly so, because the cars built at this Adelaide car plant are of a world-class standard. These cars are sold not only in Australia, but in over 12 countries throughout the world. And this international market is continually growing, and that's important for all of us. Here comes another finished Magna, all ready to be loaded onto the transporter. Oh, thank you. See ya. <laughs>